Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can move and resize selected controls in a form or report that is being displayed in Design View. You may want to do this if the controls aren't large enough to display the field data or if they are not placed into the desired areas within the form. When you select controls, you will notice that seven small orange squares and one large gray or brown square appear around the orange border of the selected controls. To resize a selected control, move your mouse pointer over the handle that represents the direction in which you want to resize the control until your mouse pointer turns into a small two-headed black arrow. When it does this, simply click and drag to resize the selected control or controls. Note that if you are using the layout view, you can simply place your mouse pointer anywhere over the orange border until you see the double pointed black arrow appear and then click and drag to resize the selected control or controls. You can also move selected controls. This will allow you to pick up a control or a group of selected controls and place them into another part of the form. To do this in design view, move your mouse pointer over the border of the selected control but not where there is a resizing handle until the mouse pointer turns into a small four-pointed arrow. Click and drag on the border when your mouse pointer looks like that to move the selected control or controls. When you release the left mouse button, you will drop the control or controls to wherever the mouse pointer is placed. In layout view, you simply place the mouse pointer directly over the center of a selected control until you see the four pointed arrow appear. Then click and drag to move only the selected control or controls into the desired position within the form or report. Now when you add controls to a form or report from the field list, they will appear as a paired control, one label control, and one text box control. This means that in addition to the actual field data, there will also be a paired label with the field's name in it. If you move one control in the paired set in design view, you move the other as well. Sometimes, however, you want to move one control without moving the other one while you're in design view. The handle that you use to move a single part of a paired control is the large gray or brown square that appears in the upper left corner of the control when it is selected. If you place your mouse pointer over this large handle until it turns into a four-pointed arrow, you can click and drag at that point in time to move the individual control independently of its paired control partner. Then just release the mouse button to place it into a new position. Note that in layout view, the paired control effect is nullified. You always move only the selected control or controls when you reposition them within the form. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.